Okay, thank you again, George, for having for having me here. Um, as uh, as he said, as you said, this is a uh, master's degree in civil engineering, because sustainable engineering engineering of infrastructure, or short SEI. Um, it is. We started this program actually this year, so and um, the next time will be our second class actually. Um, why did we started this program? Uh, basically to uh, tackle uh, a lot of today's challenges, challenges which include climate change, scarcity of resources, consolidation of metropolitan areas, digitization and globalization. And we wanted to tackle these problems from the view of a civil engineer to find um, and to work on uh, solutions with and for civil engineers. And that's why we started this program for masters. Um, what is special about um, this program SEI at the University of Applied Sciences in Erfurt? Maybe I should first mention that we are a school of applied science. So we are not like we heard before a university. So we don't have uh, PhD programs uh, such like that. Of course, we can have PhD students when we collaborate with universities and we focus on practical education. Yeah, that's basically what a school of applied sciences is. We still do research and teaching. Uh, it's a little different than uh, a classical research university. What can you do with us? You can become an expert in sustainable civil engineering. We think you uh, will have uh, bright career options out of these. We, um, we practice with state-of-the-art tools and hands-on programs. And of course, uh, also you will have the opportunity to, uh, to complete a practical specialization. I come to this later. And of course, also write your master's thesis while working in engineering or construction companies or in our laboratories or in one of our laboratories. Um, we have different um, topics here. Uh, uh, yeah, so our program teaches uh, geodesign. We have uh, topics about uh, natural resources, depletion and projection, urban water management building an existing context, building information modeling and so forth. The full pro program I will show you here. So it's a three semester program. Um, you see the first semester with B, uh, BIM, BIM and digital project management. You see pavement maintenance here, numerics is computer methods, uh, construction economics and international project management natural resources depletion and projection I mentioned before, and then you have the option to do an elective. In the second semester and the first semester will be the summer term starting in April usually, early April. Uh, second semester then geodesign, ground improvement and piling, urban water management, hydraulic engineering. And my own topic, uh, urban infrastructure, diagnostics and con conservation. And you will again have uh, the option to have an elective. In the third semester, we on top of the above mentioned subjects uh, of our communication techniques and soft skills. And then of course, will be the master thesis. And over the whole time, you see here down below the practical specialization. What you can see is that we have a lot of different subjects that are, don't follow each other. But you can specialize um, on a topic, for example, if you want to do pavement, you can uh, do a pro project with a, a pavement professor and follow this over the course of the three masters working on that. Or if you want to do something with BIM or numerics or whatever, you can do this. And then on top, of course, later, you can also do the master thesis on the same topic or something else. Um, yeah, so as a graduate of the SEI master's program, you gain theoretical and practical skills. And as mentioned already, University of Applied Sciences usually, and we do this, have a strong focus actually on the practical part in planning and drafting, calculation and management of civil engineering and infrastructure projects. Um, here you see again our uh, state of the arts labs and hand on programs. Usually the professors have their own lab uh, and or if they don't have a lab where you work hands on, like in BIM, you have a PC pool or something like that. So we have the building diagnostics lab. That's again my specialization, building materials and non-destructive testing in civil engineering, BIM lab, 
building a material testing lab is part of my lab again, concrete and cement lab, geodesign labs, geotechnical labs, pavement labs, and so forth. So we, we have all these options here again. And then you can do this already mentioned practical specialization while you study uh, other courses as well. You can pick one of these subjects to go in more depth. In the end, you can write your master's thesis, um, which is 14 weeks, um, again, on one of these subjects or something else. Um, um, so what is so special about it? We think it's special about it. There are not so many actually engineering degrees in Germany that are uh, completely in English language, but with a German quality sign. Yeah, you can say you can learn uh, engineering uh, in, and get an engineering degree in Germany, but in English, completely in English language. Do, do you, don't you need German? No. You don't need German for the to study this, but if you come and it's a presence uh, class, it's not online. We of course offer also online uh, stuff with Moodle, but um, we recommend that you learn German when you come to live in Germany and work here and study, but it's not um, needed for the class itself. We have a close uh, collaboration with, basic, with our basic school, with our language center. So we offer German and English classes there as well. Um, and what is also special about is we have no studies fee. So it's it's not that you pay a certain amount of uh, to, to study with us. The program is for free. You have some administration fees, which I will mention later. And of course you can study. What Georgie said uh, at the beginning, you can study in the very heart, I would say in the medieval part or classical heart uh, of Germany. So again, here's some short facts. So it's a master's degree. It's open uh, the application window. We changed this from last year. Uh, we, in, we had before uh, the deadline December, but we noticed that you, it takes more time for visas and so forth. So we moved uh, the application window and regretfully it's already closed. So if you ap would apply now, you can apply only for next year yeah? because our application window just closed. It's from May to September 15th and then it starts in April. So for this term, it's April, the second class starts in April 22, uh, 2023. And if you would apply next uh, year, you would start in April 2024. Application is usually done through Uni Assist. They, they help us uh, to manage the applications. It's this program of 1.5 years for 90 credits. Um, yeah, again, I marked this in red to remember myself that we changed this actually to um, to tackle sometimes the visa problems. What you need to study with us actually, you need a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. And according to the European credit system, uh, it's uh, you need 20, 20, 210 credit points, which is like a seven semester bachelor's degree. If you don't have this, this is also no problem. So if you only have 180 credits or a six semester degree, you can study with us as well. But then you need one year of practical experience or you have to do a kind of internship uh, for uh, 16 weeks to get the missing credits. So it's possible as well, but you, ha you have to do some work, you could say. Our requirements for English, you can see here, there are different uh, ways we accept this, uh, the TOEFL, the ELTS and so forth. So it's basically a B2 uh, for CERF or um, 213 points for TOEFL CBT or 79 uh, for IBT and so forth. If you studied already in an English speaking class per program your bachelor's, you don't need this. Also, if your native language is English, you don't need this as well, of course. Uh, here's a, the, as I said already, there, there are no study fees, but only some administration fees. Uh, it's at this point in time, this always changes a couple of euro. Yeah, it's usually, increases by a couple of euro every year. Um, but the, in, in total of 255.6 euro at the moment, where the most part is actually for your tr public transportation. So we have a deal with a 
public transportation in Thuringia, and so every student gets this ticket so that they can travel with regional trains and buses and so forth. Then we have the actual administration costs for 74 euro and then some culture ticket for Thuringia is a cultural, a very cultural um, old uh, state and something for the students council as well for the political engagement of the students. There are some additional fees, 20 euro for Tosca cards. It's an electronic card you can use to uh, go to the library or in the cantina and so forth. And for the first application, I think I'm not, that's part of uni assist. You have to check this so far as I know is 75 uh, euro for the first application. And then for each other, you can apply with different universities as so far as I know is 30 euro uh, addition. Something about our school. So it's, I mentioned already, it's a Fachhochschule, which means University of Applied Science in the old East, uh, former East Germany, uh, and was founded after the unification of Germany in 91. Uh, and as I mentioned, it's a combination of scientific education with practice oriented, oriented applications. What we think it's, we are established already, we are modern, we are practice oriented. We have a very good reputation. We just got very good rankings uh, here, uh, for, especially for our teaching here uh, in Erfurt, the civil engineers. We think we have a modern mission statement. And as I said, we always, usually we are top rankings uh, in the engineering. And this year we were especially very good. Um, yeah, we have numerous food for context to economy, intensive networks here in the city and in the region, as well as growing international charisma, we think. Um, and yeah, um, the new master's degree is the first actually English speaking, so it has some birthing challenges. Yeah, we had to translate our websites and so forth. Um, but we think we have a tight course to study to get you a quick pass for pro professional practice, and it's the same, same time options uh, for further academic education. It's an application oriented teaching together with practice oriented research. I do research project, projects, so do some a lot actually of our young colleagues. Um, we think will prepare you very well for future professional activity. We have extensive offerings for learning languages and so forth, intercultural competence. So you will see this when I talk in my last slide about Erfurt. So we think, I think that the University of Applied Sciences Erfurt is at the same time a university with tradition and future, with practice oriented and up-to-date education. Our campus in Erfurt has about a couple of locations. We are here at the main campus, actually, the civil engineering campus. The architectures are a little off and also we have the so-called green campus uh, for gardening and so forth. Uh, but we are basically here, we offer all course of lectures, it's in presence, exercises, seminars, practical trainings and labs. Of course, we also have an online platform. We also use Moodle here. Now let me finish talking a little bit about Erfurt, the city. Yeah, Erfurt is located in the center of Germany, geographic, close to the geographical center in the state of Thuringia. It's one of 16 states, a very small states. Um, it's a state capital, which, had a, which also has a lot of advantages for public transportation, is very good and so forth, with about 200,000 citizens growing. We are also in the center now of DB uh, network, of the German rail network. Everybody knows probably Martin Luther. He was a famous son here who studied here and did his PhD here. So we had a lot of medieval churches and, and so forth. It's always elected top of the nicest old towns in Germany. Usually we are top three. Um, it's only 30 minutes by train or by car to the classical capital of Weimar. Maybe you have heard about this with Goethe, Schiller and so forth. It's by train about one hour, 45 minutes to Berlin. Two and a hours, basically in two and a half hours, you can reach nearly every great city like Frankfurt and Munich as well. And it's an optimal location in the state capital for students and gives them the opportunity to access also the variety of job opportunities while enjoying the nice environment, nightlife as well, pubs and surroundings. So if you have any questions, send me emails, to put it in the chat. I will try to answer this. Also here again, some links. 
yeah thank you for having me and i think i'm done <laughs>